Good morning, everybody. My name, of course, is Barb Shostak, and I am here to speak on behalf of, of Bethlehem Revisited. Now, you might notice that my garb includes a garden hat and gloves. I do not garden. I buy my things from Hy-Vee and Fairway, but some of you do garden. And I'm here to remind you, if you not haven't already, please put in garden items for Bethlehem. That includes herbs and spices for the one shop downstairs. If you hadn't thought about it, that's fine. Maybe you could stick a few seeds in the ground or whatever you do, because I don't know how you grow that stuff. The other thing that I know that we'll be looking for is pompous grass. And I know last time, I always want to say last year, last time many, many people brought some in. So don't ever think it's too much. It's going to be fine just to bring what you have. Now, if you've been watching the bulletin board back by the nursery, it now says that there's 27 Sundays left to Bethlehem. That's a little scary. I was thinking it was 30s and 40s, but it's not. So the time is coming closer. You need to be watching for a list that's going to show up in the newsletter. Some items might have been mentioned already. There's going to be more of a list coming out eventually that you can bring, and they will find places to keep it until they need it. Now, oh, just a second here. Okay, now, this, let's all know, is a flip-flop. That's what this is called. Now, what they're going to look for, for the people that have costumes, are not these. Okay? Well, they could be these if they're brown or if they're leather, but they really want brown sandals. None of the flippy floppies with the heels or the gold trim or that light up in the dark. They're all really cool, but not for Bethlehem time. Now, one last thing I want to tell, uh, talk to you about are the letters that some of you received about helping. Those were my doing. I told the young couples to not ask, just presume that you will help and that you will then tell them that you can't. So don't blame the messenger on those letters. You can blame me because I'm the one that did it. So this is a short little message for you this month, and I'll try to come to you now every month from now on through the time that it's presented on December 6th. And thank you very much. We know you will respond for them.